Hi everyone, in today's video, we are going to see how to populate cascading drop down through Ajax call. So, based on our last video, we have copied the same custom model in our new newly created action. Uh, I named this action as cascading drop down with Ajax, and it has nothing special. If you see in uh, our last videos, you will see that. Um, it's the same model we have two countries and we are passing those countries back to the view and uh, view is also the same uh, we are just double checking that list is not empty and if it is so then create a drop down list for us and we have uh, given the id to that uh, drop down list as country list uh, and uh, in the script section we already have used the same script in previous episode as well uh, here we have just uh, applying the change event on that um, select element and we on on the change we are actually getting the selected value in a variable so this is uh, the same till this step uh, how we can check that if we just um, right console dot log and here we can pass this value and let me control s and refresh the page okay so as soon as i change the value here uh, in the drop down you will see that there should be a change uh, well printed in the console you can see now two now one again two All right so change event is working fine so on the on the base of that on the top of this implementation we are going to implement the impl uh, loading second um, drop down which is our series drop down to ajax call this time uh, so let me start with the um, model so model is pretty much the same there is no change in the model at all uh, again the custom model has the list of countries and cities uh, and uh, a city has a different uh, model and the country has a different model so starting from the um, uh, our controller side uh, here we don't need to change anything inside this section this will be pretty much the same uh, we will create another action which will return us the um, json data it's interesting that uh, in mvc application a controller is also you know returning the json data instead of view so it can so let's see how it does uh, let me quickly create an action we can name it public i action result and uh, let's name it um, cities uh, city city yeah cities is good and we will be passing the country id to that action and uh, we will be returning the json response uh, from that action before that we need um, to have list of all cities all cities is equal to we can copy paste all cities from somewhere from here i guess so mm, yeah we can do that let's utilize this list and on that list we need to Fury um, selected cities is equal to all cities dot um, where we we'll need to pass a query. Uh, we can say x dot country id is equal to country id, and we need to return the list from here. And, and then we can pass that list back to the calling side as a JSON result. Let me refresh the page again and we can just 
all that action from browser just to double check that everything is working fine okay here if i pass the cities and yeah we have passed the country added too which is uh, united kingdom we can see now we are having the london and uh, uh, Liverpool in the response and if we pass one which is Pakistan then we have Islamabad and Karachi so this end point is working fine and turning as the JSON response um, yeah so that is the controller side now we need to implement the front-end side as well uh, in the front-end side first of all we will need an empty um, drop-down we can say select um we can pass or assign it an id we can say it's uh, cities and we can simply close this one uh and next thing we want is we want to implement the um, ajax get um function which will return us the list of cities in the uh, Add in the response of that ajax call so we can use the ajax method or we can explicitly use the cat method uh, from um, jquery so let's keep it simple for now we can use the specific get method from the jquery and we can do that by uh, dollar dot get and we can pass this same URL here from here and because the country ID is um is a variable we can do that by uh we can append that by using interpolation value and we need a dollar sign here yeah so that will uh, give us the url required url and uh, next in that um param list we need a callback method and uh, we can use um callback function something like that and let's pass this function the required params and those params will be um let's say we want data um what is this status and the uh, fetch our details for now we will be focusing on the data part we can double check you know other uh return types from this callback function in our um, ajax specific tutorials but for now let's uh, keep focus on data part uh, here what we need is first of all uh, we need to make sure that it is list is empty at the very beginning so we can say cities dot m Mm, and the next we can do is that uh, dot for each uh, we need to implement that thing um, pp. um that would be the arrow function and uh, and it works as same as the callback function so here again we need to uh, i forgot to add the dollar sign here and here again we will be doing uh, cities dot um, append and here we need to append the options option and inside that option again we can do that by interpolation
okay and uh, here we will need city dot name because it is itself an object and then we need to close that option here right so we are appending all the cities inside this city select uh, dot off so let's double check the implementation i am pressing ctrl f5 and let's see those changes um, yeah yeah let me open again uh, open this call from here to here and we don't need to pass the country id for now and yeah so currently it's empty as soon as we select the um, country we will have the corresponding cities in the second drop down and you you might have noticed that there is no page refresh so if you go to network calls uh, you will see as soon as i change the option here there will be a call you can see that in the network tab and it is uh, giving the response for that particular uh, country so for now it's london and liverpool and if i click on pakistan you can see there's another call with, uh, with the country id one and now we have islamabad and karachi and we can also see the headers to see the response type if we can verify um those should be um the, the response header i i just want to double check um, uh, response header response headers uh, headers response header. yeah you can see that the content type is application slash json here so that is why we are getting the json result um uh, at the result of uh, you know that that endpoint call so this is how we can implement case scaling drop down using ajax uh, it's not it's not um, perfect uh, ideally we should not have that drop down visible at the first you know load of the page it should be uh, it should be hidden as soon as we select a country then it should appear with the corresponding cities we can just do that by few um um few lines of script so let's do that as well um so by default uh what i can do is um i can write hidden here uh and if i refresh the page uh, i will see the this top one should be should not be visible you can see that it's gone right and as soon as um and now we want as soon as we select that drop down it should again be visible so we can do that by uh, modifying that uh, change method and here we can use again the cities dot um i guess it should be let's double check um how we can do that um cities uh, and i will save this one in a variable dot uh, set visible or hidden uh, or show i guess it should be show not um no we don't have um you should be true no um, a dot set um okay uh, let's do one more thing a dot hidden is equal to false and we have that visible uh, again so yeah just let's just use the um, same script inside that change method 
<clears throat> and we will doing that after the this for each call so that once that is loaded it should be hidden is equal to false okay let me press ctrl f5 and we can see the change okay so as soon as i select a country you will see the second drop down will appear and by default there is no second drop down right so this is how we can do minor tweaks to make ui more interactive uh, so that was all from this video and uh, now we have five videos uh, with all the basic uh, flavors of uh, use cases that we have with uh, drop down asp.net mvc uh, to mention the comment if you have any specific requirement i will create a separate video on that one and if i got another scenario uh, from one of my projects i will create another video in the future uh, so um that was all um keep coding